In today's episode, I'm going to build the world's smallest Raspberry Pi computer using the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 8 GB RAM. There are also some other variants of Raspberry Pi 4 available depending on how much RAM you need 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB or 8 GB. I selected the 8 GB variant because I want my smallest PC to be powerful enough to play games and perform image processing tasks without any issues. I will put this Raspberry Pi 4 computer into this P Iron Man Cyberpunk case. This is Sun Founders customized mini PC kit for Raspberry Pi. And this is the Sun Founders all in one 13.3 inches FHD 1920 by 1080 portable IPS monitor, which I'm going to use with my Raspberry Pi mini PC. This is also compatible with Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, etc. I already have a separate video on this. I will add a link in the description if you want to know more about this portable IPS monitor. I'm also very thankful to Sun Founder for sending me this wireless keyboard and mouse. For the image processing, I will use this night vision camera. Anyway, let's start with the P Iron Man Cyberpunk case. Inside this box, you will find the user manual, the casing, and lots of other scary things. At first, I was really shocked and I had no idea how to assemble all these parts. But thanks to the Sun Founder for writing such a detailed user manual. All the parts are clearly labeled and I'm really impressed the way they have explained step by step the entire assembling process. With the help of these 3D images and written instructions, I'm sure anyone can do the assembling. I'm doing it for the first time and if I can do it, then it means you can also do it. There are a total of 24 steps and I think these are more than enough. So let's go ahead and start the assembling.
Sin Founder has done a great job by printing all the pin numbers on the casing and now anyone can easily connect sensors and output devices. My smallest Raspberry Pi computer is ready. I didn't face any issues in assembling all these parts and I must say the whole credit goes to Sun Founder for writing such a detailed step-by-step -step user guide. Anyway, now let's go ahead and power up the world's smallest Raspberry Pi computer. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have connected the Sun Founders Full HD Portable IPS Monitor with the Raspberry Pi computer using the micro HDMI cable and I have also connected my wireless keyboard and mouse. I have also powered up the monitor using my 12V adapter. Everything looks good and now let's go ahead and power up the Raspberry Pi Mini PC. Finally, I am on my Raspberry Pi computer desktop and you can see the screen orientation is good. If in case on your side, the screen orientation is different then you can read the user guide to adjust the resolution for Raspberry Pi by modifying the config.txt file. They have already included all the commands so you won't face any issues. Anyway for now everything is working just perfectly, you can see the mouse is working. I can scroll through the menus and categories and everything is working the way it's supposed to work. Now I'm going to open the terminal to check if the keyboard is working. Perfect. You might have noticed the OLED display is off, the WS2812 RGB LED strip is off and the cooling fan is also turned off. To make all these things work, we will need to properly configure the P Iron Man mini PC kit. So let's go ahead and do it. First connect your Raspberry Pi to Wi-Fi. Next open the docs.sunfounder.com. I will add a link in the description. Anyway, scroll down and under the Raspberry Pi you can see P Iron Man. Click on this. We have already covered these four steps and now we will start with step 5 to set up the P Iron Man. So click on this. Copy this command and paste it in the terminal and press the enter key. Next copy this portion of the code and paste it in the file and don't forget to save the file. Next we will install the pironman module, you can see the commands are already given. So let's go ahead and copy these commands one by one.
after all the required files are installed, the OLED display and RGB LED strip are turned on. On the OLED display, you can see the CPU percentage and temperature. It looks pretty amazing. Anyway, you can change the temperature unit to Fahrenheit. You can change the OLED display sleep time by default it is one minute and you can also change the LED strip effects by default the breathing mode is selected and I already like this mode but I will also check other effects and I'm also going to explain how to set the cooling fan temperature limit the default value is 50 celsius anyway if you want to check the default values simply use this command You can see the temperature unit is C. The fan is turned on when the temperature is equal to or greater than 50 degrees Celsius. You can change this temperature limit. Similarly, you can modify the other configurations. Anyway, let's start with the RGB LED strip. For this, go back to the Ironman configuration page and click on the WS2812 RGB strip. You can turn on and turn off the LED strip. You can see the commands, but right now I'm interested in changing the color. So I'm going to copy this command. You can see the color has been changed. Now let's try another color. You can select any color of your choice. Now let's go ahead and check other modes or effects. Now let's go ahead and start with the cooling fan. Right now you can see the fan is off as the CPU temperature is below 50 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to change the temperature limit to a low value to check if the fan is going to turn on. For this go back to the Ironman configuration page and click on the cooling fan. You can see we have different commands. We can change the temperature unit. Let's say I want to display the temperature in Fahrenheit for this I am going to copy this command. Paste it in the terminal, change C to F and press enter. Now you can see the temperature is in Fahrenheit. Don't worry if the display is turned off. Currently the display sleep time is only one minute. You can short press the power button to turn on the display. Anyway, let's change the spec into Celsius. Write the same command, but this time type C instead of F. You can see the temperature is changed back to Celsius. Now let's change the cooling fan temperature limit. For this, simply copy this command and paste it in the terminal. Now, select the temperature. Let's say I want to turn on the fan when the temperature is less than or equal to 35 degrees Celsius. Now you can see the fan is turned on. Let me increase the temperature limit and you will see how the cooling fan turns off. Now again, if I'm going to lower the temperature limit, the fan is going to turn on. So this is how easily we can change the temperature limit. Similarly, we can also control the OLED display. We can permanently turn it off or we can permanently turn it on. 
and we can also change the sleep time. Anyway, so far all the changes I have made are temporary. If I restart the Raspberry Pi, all the changes will be gone and the P Iron Man will start with the default values. For the permanent changes, we will have to make changes in the code. Let's say you want to permanently change the OLED display sleep time from 1 second to 3 seconds. For this, browse to the P Iron Man folder. Open the main.py file. In this file, you can permanently change the values. For now, I want to change the sleep time. Save the file and that's it. Now, if I short press the power button, the OLED display is going to turn on for 3 minutes. I have pretty much explained all the basic things. Anyway, my Raspberry Pi mini PC is now ready. In my upcoming videos, I will test it with some high quality HD videos. I will play some games and I will also make so many amazing image processing based projects using this night vision camera. And I will also make sensors based projects. So consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming tutorials. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.